Today marks Juneteenth, one of the oldest celebrations marking the end of slavery in the U.S. 155 years ago, more than 250,000 slaves received news of their freedom in Texas. This year, obviously, the day takes on special meaning in light of recent protesting against police brutality. For this writer at the New York Times, neither Abraham Lincoln nor the Republican Party were responsible for the end of slavery. I quote, slaves freed slaves, and the writer says, this day is also about remembering that America's experiment in liberty owes as much to those who toiled in bondage as it does to anyone else. The editors of the Washington Post, meanwhile, note that June the 19th connotes a moment when America's promise, America's dream of full equality seemed about to be achieved, only to be postponed. Now, as Americans stand at another watershed moment, the editors say they have an opportunity to fulfill this dream. Moving on now to a growing diplomatic spat between Germany and Russia over the death of a Georgian man of Chechen origin. The man who fought the Russians in Chechnya was shot dead in a Berlin park last year, and uh, German prosecutors have filed charges against a Russian man, alleging that Russian state agencies tasked him with the assassination, coupled with a 2015 hacking of German parliament, ties between the two countries have been increasingly strained. Russia denies any involvement and has threatened to react if Germany takes action. Finally, Maurice, the beloved noisy French rooster, has died at the age of six. Maurice became an international symbol for the countryside and for the divides between city and country dwellers when he was taken to court for his early morning crowing, he eventually won that case and was allowed to live out the rest of his days as peacefully and as noisily as he wanted on the French island of Oléron. He, he died last month and his owners say they've already bought a new rooster, also called Maurice, but that he will never quite replace the original bird.